Hey folks, this is question 12. So we just have to draw the pattern here, but they made it quite awkward to really. Uh, so it has to be a six by six square anyway. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this isn't the most accurate. You should use ruler here and be really neat with this. It's easy to lose marks on it. And we should be getting the marks here. Right, in every one of them, the top one in the top corner is always shaded anyway. So we're going to shade that one. And then it's just a matter of shading all the diagonals from top left down to bottom right. So that one, that one, so all of those. something like that so you should be a little bit neater yourself uh, with a ruler right complete the table below to show the number of squares and the total number of squares in the seat number shaded okay right well in the first one there's four second one i think it's just adding on one every time for the shaded ones there's five and then in the third one one two three four five six yeah six so that's all that's happening is just adding on one each time. And for the number of total squares, first one is nine, the next one is 16. Uh, next one is a five by five square, so that's 25. So you'll notice they're all the square numbers. A six by six square and a seven by seven square is 49. Right, so we have to come up with the end term then for the number of shaded squares. So I'm going to use this formula. You might have another way of doing it, a simpler way. But if we always use this, it'll work for us. So P of n A is always the first term in the sequence. So it's 4 in this case. Uh, n minus 1. And then D is the difference. It's just 1 in this case. That's what's That's what they're going up by each time. If you multiply 1 into the brackets, you just get 4 plus n minus 1. And then 4 plus n minus 1 is, put the 4 and the minus 1 together, we get 3. So we get n plus 3. So t of n is equal to n plus 3. And that goes in there. You might have had another way as well where you find the difference between them. And then n and then the one that comes before the first term. Right, so part C is quite difficult then. It's the difference between the total number of squares and the number of shaded squares. So we know the general term for the total number of squares is n plus 2 squared. We know the end term for the number of shaded squares is just n plus 3. So the difference between those two things would just be where you minus one from the other. And then, now in this case, it, they're just using k instead of n, but really it's the same thing. You could just do a bit of, bit of k. You probably won't lose too many marks. So they're saying that that is equal to 271. So we just have to show that. So if I multiply out the double brackets again, k plus 2, k plus 2 minus k plus 3 equals 271 now multiply everything by everything in here k multiplied by k is k squared k multiplied by 2 is 2k 2 multiplied by k is 2k and 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 now this minus here will turn all, everything there into a minus so minus k minus 3 is equal to 271 put this, the like terms together we have one we have a k squared uh, 2k plus 2k is 4k and then I'm taking away the k the minus k so that's plus 3k and then I have a 4 and a minus 3 so that's plus 1 and that is equal to 271 and that's showing what they wanted us to show quite a difficult question there 
Last bit is to solve this. So k squared plus 3k plus 1 is equal to 271. We can use minus b formula here, but not yet. We need everything on the left-hand side in order to use that. So I'm going to move over to 271 and put it and take it away on the left-hand side. So k squared plus 3k minus 270, when I bring that over, is equal to 0. So on the left-hand side, I, I did 1 take away 271. So check the calculator if you're not sure. Then I can use minus b formula, a is going to be 1, because there's nothing in front, there's an automatic 1, we don't see anything there, b is 3, and c is minus 270. So put it into the minus b formula, check your log tables for that, you'll have minus 3, put everything into brackets, plus or minus square root, 3 squared minus... Uh, Four times one times minus two seventy all over two times one and then we put it in with a minus first and then with a plus and we get minus eighteen for the minus value or if you go back and just put it in with a plus we get fifteen. We get two answers then for k. Now, if you look back up at the question, it shows you that find the value of k. So that's telling you that you shouldn't get two values in the end. So we're going to have to discount one. It's it's generally always the minus one that you discount when you get two of those and you want and you want one. But the reason is because it's a stage in the pat. It's a pattern. So in pattern k. So if you look back up here at the at the first one like pattern one pattern two pattern three pattern four it's impossible to get a negative like a, a mine the minus 18th pattern would be impossible if you think about it you can't have like if you have a first pattern second pattern third pattern you can't go to a minus 18th pattern it wouldn't make sense so we get rid of the minus 18 there so 15 is the answer that's all in for question 12